This is a little plaster job or parge job, whatever you want to call it. I patched up and uh, I'm just going to show you how I did it. Just this one little piece. Now today, this is a, it's actually an old stone wall that was plastered over or parged, whatever you want to call it. There's one part right here, it's fallen out. So she calls me up and says, uh, can you fix the wall? I said, you really can't fix these walls. I says, the only thing you can do is keep patching them up or put a new one in. So she says, well, I'm really worried about it. I just want it patched. So we're just going to do a quick patch job on it. That's what it looks like on the bottom. Just uh, one of those things. So I'm going to rip that all off and then patch it up. Here's the stone cap up here. You see the stone inside. It's an old stone wall from the Depression era. They must have fixed this ten times. And then they put wire mesh over. You see the wire mesh down here? Wire mesh ain't always the answer. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just clean it up real good with the wire brush and put another coat on it. That's it. Now, like I always said, the first thing you got to do is wet it. Wetting it is the biggest deal when you're making stuff, and I, I mixed up some, uh, just a little bit of uh, cement off. And I'm going to put it in here, throw it in like that, throw it in, throw it in, throw it in, just like that. I'm just kind of filling it in, that's all this is for right now. Just filling it in. This stuff dries real fast. It's great for building out stuff. If you don't want to come back, got to make sure you always wet it first though. See that? If you want to, you could stick a couple stones in there like that. That's it. I'm just going to leave a little rough. For this outside mix, I'm using one bucket of sand. And I'm going to put in a quarter bucket of S mortar. And a quarter bucket of Portland. Like, so now I'm mixing it up. And I usually don't use mortar at all, but they used it before. And it's okay if you use S mortar as long as you add some Portland to it. Okay? This mortar already has Portland in it, but mortar does not hold up in Pennsylvania on anything outside. So that's why I added the Portland. Now I'm going to mix up myself my bonding agent. This is the mortar I did use, but when I make a bonding agent, it's only Portland. Put a little Portland in there, and I put a little water in there, and you know what? I had a little of this bonding agent. I don't use it much, but because that wall was painted, I can just add a little of that there in there. And I'm going to mix it up. And I mix it up into a paint. That's all I do. Mix it up into a paint. That's an old school bonding agent. Okay, before I put my first coat on, I always wet it first, and I use my my own uh, what I call bonding agent, old school bonding agent. You still gotta wet it first, and I get my bonding agent, stir it up pretty good, paint it. That's what's gonna make that stick. See that? That's what's going to make that stick. And 
right over that when it's wet. You have to do it when it's wet. Now you're going to put a second coat on and I'm going to scratch it with the broom like this. So that's it, we're putting on our first coat. Now you get a little crack like that, just get your rubber glove force it in there like that. That's all. And you know you got it in there pretty good. You can't fix it. Now I got my first coat on. I'm going to let it dry, but I want to point out something. You look down these walls, you see how they're all bowing out and everything. There's no way to do it perfect. And I could spend a million years trying to do it perfect, but it's just not worth it. So all we're doing is patching what we could patch, and then we'll come and put our second coat on. Now we're looking at the wall, and behind the wall, the dirt's lower. Right up in there, you see a rain gutter. You see it? All the water comes down from the rain gutter. It gets behind here. That's what's causing the wall to bowl out. Well, I'm back about three hours later. You can see up on top here, it's kind of dry, and it's dried pretty good. You get down here, you see these expansion cracks. I knew it was going to do that. That's why I waited three, four hours. Now when I go over to last coat because it's pretty well dried it's going to hide all that uh, that's the way it is especially with mortar if there's any mortar in it you're going to get them shrinkage cracks that's normal for the most part it's still pretty wet I'm just going to give it a little just for the heck of it so that cement sticks better We're going to put on our second and final coat. Not too thick. Not going to put it on too thick. Just want to cover everything up. finish it up now. Just get a regular bucket with water and a sponge. Could use a, a a sponge float but this got so many bends in it this is good enough. And we just go like it has to be right enough. See? You can touch it. You almost can't put your fingers in it. And you kind of swirl it. And that's what gives you your outlook. You blend it into the side. Like that. So that's pretty much it. 
just check it out. No cracks and everything. It's good. 